I came in 1962 and went to School of Social Work here at University of Manitoba. Got my master's in social work. So I was in my 20s. I came here to meet my husband, you know, whom I knew. But he was already here, and I joined here. And ours was the first uh, wedding in Winnipeg, Sikh wedding. Well, at home, you know, we we celebrate our uh, uh, the important uh, days of the Sikhism, like uh, births of our gurus, and uh, and we uh, uh, taught them a little bit of our. Uh, uh, seek prayers and we try to speak Punjabi with them you know which didn't work very well you know <laughs> because at that time you know I mean we were faced we had to get uh, uh, settled in Canada so we had to brush up on our English even though we both were educated in English mm -hmm. but the conversational English is very different so we were trying to practice our English so therefore we s mostly spoke with our kids in English and very little you know, in Punjabi. So they are kind of limited in the Punjabi language. Mm -hmm. And I remember that my younger son said to me once we were going for a walk and he said, you know, you and mom, mom, you and dad have been very good parents, but I have one complaint. I said, what is it? He said, you didn't teach us Punjabi very well. And that's true. I remember that at Diwali time, you know, which is in uh, somewhere in September, October, which is a festival of lights. We celebrate here too. Uh, you know, we, we all get, we have our, all the houses whitewashed, you know, all painted fresh, and everybody will get uh, new clothes, new outfits, and lots of sweets, and lots of mingling, you know, going to each other's houses, exchanging gifts, exchanging, you know, sweets. And I remember one Diwali function, me and my sister, I have one sister, we are just two sisters, we both got beautifully made green, lime green outfits. And we are going out to visit and my younger sister fell in a, in a puddle of water and she wasn't happy. But I, that was a memorable thing. And we will have uh, lots of lights. In those days, not electric lights, they have the diyas. You know, those earthen little things with the oil and the wick. And all over the, the, the house, we'll, you know, on, uh, on that uh, second story, you know, uh, 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 the, uh, you know, we had all, all the hundreds of diyas in each house. You go on top of your roof and you see the glittering. You know, that that was re really beautiful and lots of good, you know, food to eat. Mm -hmm. Our pavilion will be at 1770 King Edward Avenue, and uh, you just cannot miss that building. It's just north of uh, Red River Community College, and with the big dome, and it's a free parking and lots of it, parking, place, no problem. And uh, when you come in, you are greeted by our ambassadors and uh, you are guided to your seats. And there is a food display in in the back. And, uh, uh, you know, there are all kinds of food items there. You know, lots of snacks, both vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian. And then there are full meal vegetarian meal and non-vegetarian meal. Then prices are very, very, very nominal. You know, $5 for a chicken plate or a samosa plate or a tiki plate or, you know, papri plate. And uh, then, uh, you know, $12 for, for a, a thali, which contains, uh, you know, a couple of vegetables, a, a meat dish, uh, butter chicken and uh, goat curry and uh, rice, and salad, and uh, dahi, and you know, uh, and a lentil, you know, so uh, that, and with naans, you know, and uh, so, the, uh, and the vegetarian plate will have a mutter paneer, and all the veggies and other condiments, and uh, so there are tables and chairs, you sit down properly, and you eat as well as you watch the show on the stage.